April 26, 2017. Kong Borble F2 pups. Shenanigans in the home slice. Born on St. Patrick's Day. Olympic firm dogs. This is a female. Yeah. You're a female. You are male. I'm without helpers here to distract them. Feeding them is about the only way I can get a video without just having them crawl all over me. Hooligan. You're going to crawl all over me anyway? That's Hooligan. That's my guy. Hooligan. That's my guy. I got a good feeling about you. You remind me of your grandpa. The fearless one. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? You ready? You ready for the world? <clears throat> hey, Mama. You gonna come see your babies? You're gonna hide. She's gonna hide. She's gonna hide. I think they just smelled you. They got a whiff. They probably smell her. They don't see her yet. You guys can smell mama? You smell chichis? Yep, somebody saw her. It's all over now. That's the first one. There they all go. These guys are still eating. Did you get word somehow? Did you get word somehow? Are you a girl too? Yeah, these girls have really dark faces. Two of the three anyway have these really dark faces. And there's two that are red like this. That's a girl too. One of them's red. Very dark mask. And so dark masks. Extra dark. There's the male version of that. Some would refer to him as jet lag. <laughs> Sometimes people name their puppies before they're quite sealed the deal. I like it when they do that though. <laughs> Look guys, the titty wagon's over here. wasn't for that culvert. I came up today, they were all sleeping in this thing. They decided it was a cool place to sleep. Boy, that's a pretty northwest. Northwest uh, setting for sure. Look, she's still letting them nurse. They gotta be six weeks. Pretty close to it. Actually, more. Right? No. Anyway, you can do the math. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to document the progress here briefly. Oh, you know what she did? I just gave her a can of food and she came up here and yacked it. That's what she does. See that? That is canned food and dry food. And every time I feed her, she comes straight away up here and, uh, you could say pukes it, but it's not really puking. It's what wolves do. That's how they carry the food back. And she's got such strong maternal instincts that systematically, the moment I feed her, she brings it up here and eats it down there and drops it on the ground for them. So they're, they're going through canned and dry food, which she just got a treat of. If I want her to keep food down herself, I really have to uh, separate her to where she can't come up here. Or she'll do that. That's her little post-up spot. You can tell she's been digging right here. She's got her little spot that she sits and looks for trouble. Enough, she says. Anyway, so yeah, that's kind of cool. I've seen more than one mother do that, and that's how that's how the wolves brought back food. I 
I'm not sure if all the wolves in the pack would do that. It's quite possible. As many of you may know that in a wolf pack, only the alpha male and female actually get to breed. And all the others sort of subjugate themselves to helping with the litter. And I, I don't quote me, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole group brings back food for the puppies in the same way. Anyway, signing out for now, yep, there she is. I knew that was her spot just by how clean the ground was there. So that's her post-up spot. Maybe that's why they decided to sleep right there instead of back there, closer to mom.